Hi, today I'm coming to you from Salt Lake City, right outside the airport at the Doubletree Hotel. I'm going to be hitting Ikea, and so, of course, we don't have that in Boise. So I came here to do it um, with my friend Janet. You've seen her in the flooding video, the house right next to the flood. Um, anyway, so this adventure I went on was thanks to a very sweet gal, Vanessa, and my son and her mother, um, Lauren and I, we went on this, just this kind of trip to this place right in Melba. So it's about 40 minutes from my house, give or take. And there's a couple things about this. This is called Cleo's Ferry Museum. And it's right next to the old ferry that uh, stopped running in 1921, Walter's Ferry. Um, this family back in the 1900s had come in and bought this land. And the man who owned it had been a doctor. Now his family comes from a long line of people who came over for religious persecution, those kind of things, for religious freedom. And Chloe's family, I believe also, well, when his wife died, Bertha, uh, six months after she gave birth to one of the children, he had met and married Cleo. I'm not sure exactly the timelines. They have books there that can inform you on that. But she was a woman of very strong faith and devotion. So she, she did this whole area they built the buildings, they brought statuary in, these big bronze, oh my goodness, it's, it's wonderful. You can take pictures there. You know, when I first went, I thought, I didn't know it was, it was kind of a place of faith. I just thought it was extremely interesting, but of course said, have you prayed today? And I started getting, oh, okay. But I think it's just, it's just a place of reflection. Now, they used to bring children for school trips here and that kind of thing, and that was really great for the kids to come and see everything. And now they don't do that as far as I know, let's just say. I've been in Boise for 20 some odd years, and I never knew this place has existed, and it's been here for a very long time. Um, Chloe, I believe, died in 76, no, her husband died in 76. And then, of course, she died much later. But they really worked to keep this uh, place beautiful. And it's about a mile, kind of goes circular. There's some offshoots of trolls you can go. There's a little enchanted um, area you can walk through. And it's worth the drive to go see the work that this family put in to this place. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. If you like the content, subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.